The days of ripping off American patients are over. We should do it by building on Obamacare, not scrapping it. Healthcare was already a top concern among U.S. voters. The current health crisis is likely to shine an even brighter spotlight on the health care policy differences between President Donald Trump and the Democratic nominee Joe Biden. Here's a look at how the two rivals clash on key issues. President Trump resisted national testing and tracing programs and sent mixed messages on face masks. But he has signed off on multi-trillion dollar relief bills and accelerated vaccine research. He's also consistently pushed states to reopen for business. Biden's vowed to listen to the science, even if that involves another national economic shutdown. He's pro-masks and wants scaled up testing and tracing. President Trump's um, pandemic response has been uh, pretty widely criticized. If you look at polls, I think it's fair to say that the, the single biggest reason why he's losing in national polls to Joe Biden is because people are disappointed in the way that he's responded to the pandemic. You ever see Sleepy Joe with the little circles? Like Trump's turn to the courts and executive power to undermine the Affordable Care Act, popularly known as Obamacare. The Trump administration has not proposed a comprehensive replacement, but the Republican-backed 2017 tax bill eliminated the ACA's individual mandate, which required most people to maintain insurance or face a penalty. The big thing that the Trump administration is doing right now is uh, backing a lawsuit that's been brought by a number of Republican uh, controlled states um, to try to declare the entire Affordable Care Act um, invalid. As everyone now knows, the, the, the Supreme Court could have a 6-3 conservative majority by the time that it hears that case. It's currently scheduled to hear the case on November 10th, which is one week after Election Day. Um, and so uh, if the Trump administration has its way, the Supreme Court will throw out the ACA, um, which would potentially cost more than 20 million people their health insurance and uh, eliminate the protections for pre-existing conditions that Obamacare um, had put into law. Biden has vowed to bolster the law passed while he was VP. His own $750 billion health care plan would be financed by taxes on the wealthy and would extend coverage to more low income Americans. Trump proposed spending cuts to Medicare for those over 65 or with a disability and to Medicaid for those on a low income. His administration supports limitations on Medicaid eligibility and caps on Medicaid spending growth. Biden's proposed lowering the Medicare eligibility age to 60, potentially extending coverage to some 20 million more Americans. <laughs>